morning, I am Claire from Created the Ottaway and this morning's live is going to be showing you a fun fold but really rather simple and effective. So I don't know if you can see that, it's just a normal flat card with a little bit of a fun fold on it, just so you can see. I've used it in the pine set as well because I really have not played much with this card. Um, uh, this set and it's really lovely so what are we going to use um i took my inspiration from the catalogue um the color wise we are going to use sea soft bone um which really isn't a christmas color but that's what we're going to use and some smoky slate and some whisper white so you're going to need those if you want to do it exactly the same um we're not using the stamp set particularly, apart from the season's greetings, although you could um, use a stamp set equally. We're also going to be using from the main catalogue some of the silver foil sheets. Okay, they, they do a really good range of foil sheets at the moment, all sorts of champagnes, coppers, silver, gold and brass. And in the Christmas brochure, they even do brushed metallic sheets, which is equally exciting to me. So this is one of those cards where it's easier to make two in one go because you're doing all the cutting anyway. So you might as well take make two at the same time. Um, that's generally what I do with most of my cards, actually. One to give and one to keep um, so that I have a reminder of what I've done. So you're going to need an A4 sheet, I've used Smoky Slate, um, and we're just going to cut it in half, which is four and one eighth, just straight across the middle, and that will give you the basis of two cards. Now, just you need to score it halfway, which is five and seven eighths. The beauty of having this stamping up cutter and scorer is it's all there together just remember to score and not cut okay. so that's one card base i'm going to do the other one at the same time because remember i said it's just as easy to make two cards as it is one so i'm going to score that five and seven eighths as well okay so my two card bases are done okay now, what you need to do is cut this triangle for the front so that your card has got half of a, a piece of card on it. So the size that I used for that, I just took some Whisper White card and I cut it at three and one, two, three three and six eighths so three and six eighths by two four five eighths so five and five eighths so five and five eighths by three and six eighths so you should end up with a rectangle remember we're making two cards at once so we're just going to cut a diagonal line across the middle of that so line up one point on your cutting space to the other now you don't want bent corners so move your blade to the middle as long as you're sure that it's on a diagonal right in there put your blade in the middle and press down and go up and down and that will give you your two triangle pieces Okay, um, oh, one more cut in, so I'll just put that to one side. I quite like putting a piece of card on the inside just to finish it off and make it look a bit more professional, handmade, finished, something a bit nicer than shop bought. So I've just put a layer of the um, sea soft foam inside, and the layer size of that is four inches by 
No, I think that's wrong because that's too big. So it's definitely four inches. Yeah, four inches by five and a half. Let's do it slightly bigger to start with. So it's definitely four inches. Let's have a look. Yeah, so four inches by five and two, four, five and five eighths. So four inches by five and five eighths and that will give you your inside piece there so you need two of those if you're making the two cards at once okay i think that is all my pieces now in the pine set when you get it obviously you get your stamp set and if you've gone for the bundle you get all of these dies as well um this is how i store mine actually inside the stamp set on a magnetic sheet just so it's there and then on the end of my uh, stamp set I put a little red dot to say this one's got dies in it um, it means that I don't have to look in two different places I can just grab and grab and go so looking at the dies let's have a look you've got big ones that are just give you an outline shape these are really meant for the stamp. So you stamp first and then die cut it out. But I'm not stamping on mine. I'm just going to use the outline. So I'm going to use one of those. Um, these ones come out like this. So you could poke all the holes through and have a hooli tree. Um, we're also going to use it in the metallic foil ones. So that is that size. Um, can you still see if I put them to the side? Let's put them there. So that's that size. That's that one. This one is a slightly skinnier tree. Again, it's still got the holes in. That's it in the seaside foam and that's it in the silver. And then these ones are a bit like the first one I showed you. They just give you the outline. So that one and that one. So I wasn't really sure what trees I wanted and what I didn't. So I just went ahead and just die cut the whole lot so that I could have a, a bit of a play and move about with things that I wanted. You also can do some um, snow for the bottom. Um, I did cut that out, but I decided not to use it. But just so that you can see there, that's just that bit. And I'll just cut it off. Um, so let's get the card over and we can start putting it together. So I just went ahead, die cut all loads of trees out um, until I knew what I wanted where. So let's put the card together. Oh, one more thing to do. You've just got to score the front so that it will have that stand up bit. So this bit here. So decide which is your front and then literally you're just going to put a score line from this corner to that corner. Okay. So again, I am lining it up from this fab cutter and scorer. Um, so from this point here to this point here, get rid of that scorer, uh, that cutter and just score it along. And then just have a look. Hold it back just to help it and that will be your your standing up fold i'm going to do the other one at the same time because remember i'm doing two cards in one takes the same amount of time so i might as well score it again and just burnish that back and that's my second card so let's put this card together very quick make today so this inside, you could stamp your sentiment on it now. Um, do that first. I'm just going to stick mine in, I thought. Because I'm not sure whether I want a sentiment on the inside or not. It depends who I give this card to. Now, I think this style of card, being so simple, you could use it for lots of of different occasions you could definitely use it for a new home card with the other set that's in the christmas catalogue that i'm in love with 
you could have a little scene going on with houses, a neighbourhood almost. Okay, so that's the inside of the card. Should we do the up? Oh, I didn't bring another green bit. I was going to do the other card. Never mind, we'll just put this one together. So that's the inside. I'm not going to put the little 3D piece yet because I'm going to concentrate on the front. So that's just going to fold flat. Take one of my triangles. I'm just going to make sure that it does indeed fit. Yep. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to stick. Oh, losing my finger. Stick that down. You could use some glitter card on here so it's more snowy. Um, I like the crisp whiteness. So I'm just going to stick that on the front here. Okay. So that's going to be my stand-up version. Now the trees, let's have a play around with the trees. Obviously I don't want to stick the trees on this bit. I just want them to stick here so that they will stand up like that. And going with the rule that it looks bigger nearer to you, I'm going to put that one there to start with. I mm, Let's have a look. I think the smallest one needs to be there. And I'm careful not to go over the edge of my card, otherwise it won't fit in the envelope. I could have those ones, but they're a bit too tiny. You could still cut these up as well. Um, let's see, I quite like having this for a bit of depth, so I'm going to maybe put that there, but then I think it might probably needs some silver as well. This one I'm going to put there, and I need to think about leaving some room for my sentiment, so I'm more or less happy with that. So I'm going to slide those off and start building them up. So this one, being the biggest, I want it quite flat on my triangle 3D piece. So I'm just going to try and remember to only put glue on this little triangle here. Here's where my glue doesn't work. Um, I'm going to put it on the tree trunk as well, although not too much. And I think it was about there. So I'm just concentrating on getting it to stick down this bottom half. Okay, and I'm just going to check. Yep, that's fine. Now I need to do this one right at the top. About there. And again, I think I'm just going to put that. Just stick it straight on the card. But there's only a little bit of trees sticking out the top, so I can put quite a bit of glue on there. And on the stalk. And I'll put that just there. Okay. Now, now the others I want to layer up a bit more. So I am going to put this one next. Now, I could poke all these little holes out and have it almost like a see-through tree. But actually, I want to put some dimensionals on the back and these little pieces will hide my dimensionals. So, where are my dimensionals? Here. Oh, I think I need to get some more. Okay, and because that tree is teeny tiny, I'm going to use some teeny tiny dimensionals. Did you know? Stamping up, do teeny tiny dimensionals. Perfect for this sort of thing. Now, I don't want that to be too high. So, I've put two dimensionals on there and I think that is going to be enough. Because, again, I want the tree to stick out. Um, about there. Okay, so that's my second tree. Um, which one next? This one? Okay, so the bits that are coming out the top, I am going to get those little 
extra bits off because I want them to be see-through. But I'm not going to worry about the ones down the bottom because they're going to be hidden behind some dimensionals. get another dimension behind there so I've got, actually got three but they're down the bottom there you go and so the bits that are not covered by a dimensional they will still pop out can you see so it's, you can still see your holy card So that is going to put little bits on my card now. That's going to go about mm, there, I think. Okay, so then that gives you that gradient. And one more silver tree, maybe up here. Yep, and I'm going to do the same with the teeny tiny dimensionals again. Just put those on the back. Can I get one further up? Possibly, possibly not. Let's see. Does that show? No. Okay, we're nearly there. And don't forget, I could be doing the other tree at the same time to make two cards in one. So that's more or less it. Now my sentiment is from this set and it's called, it's got seasonless greetings and I've already pre-cut a banner to put on the front. So I'm just going to be really clever and try and stamp straight on that with my sea soft foam. Such a subtle green, but it's perfect. Let's hope that comes out because I didn't put my pad behind. Yeah, that's good. And to make that stand out, I'm going to put some dimensionals behind that. So I put one that end. Oh, and one that end. Just so that stands out as well and then put that there okay now I think it needs something else it needs some snowballs or some snowflakes just on this bit here so I'm using the elegant faceted gems just because I think the white ones look a bit like snowballs so let's use a teeny tiny one and then a slightly fatter one here. And the rule of threes, three or five or the odds. I think that's nice. And what else do I need to do? Oh, the inside. So on my original one, I stamped on the trees and then die cut them, which actually I think gives a nice, nice added bit to the inside I don't know if you can see that with the camera um, so I'm going to do that again but I haven't stamped on them here I've just die cut do you think I will be able to do that over the top probably not but let's give it a go so, mm, this could go horribly wrong have a look oh it's not too bad what i would actually do if i had it was put a couple more little brush marks of leaves on there just so it looks like it's meant to be like that but i will add that in afterwards i'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back of here and i squeeze another one there 
and another one because this is just going to help my card stand up. Okay. So, I think we should be done. So that's my card flat. And then stand it up. I'm going to put those trees there. Like that. And that helps my card be 3D. So, there's my two cards. Two cards. Perfect for Christmas. Perfect for gift giving. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching, girls. See you soon. Bye.